Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack Brown and his mother are very poor. His father died three years ago. All they have now is a cow. Go and sell some milk, says his mother. We need money for food. Jack is milking the cow. So he may have some milk to sell. This is the only way he may make money for his family, because he is still too young to have a proper paying job. One day, the cow stops giving milk. Mother, the cow has no more milk, says Jack. Then go and sell the cow," says his mother. "We need money for food." Jack goes to the market with the cow. On the way, Jack meets an old man. "Will you give me some money for this cow?" Jack asks. Money? I have something better," says the old man. "Look, these are magic beans." The old man starts to sing. One, two, three, four, five. Magic beans will come alive. Put them in the ground. Water all around. Happily, Jack. Takes the magic beans home. The old man Jack met on the way to the market doesn't look like an ordinary old man. He looks like a wizard because he's wearing a wizard's hat. Beans! Screams his mother. You silly boy! We can't buy food with beans! She yells. She is furious and throws the beans out of the window. Jack and his mother go to bed without food. I am a fool, he thinks. Poor mother! Poor me! Jack traded their family cow for a couple of beans instead of money, so his mother is very angry. But if Jack had told her they were magic beans, maybe she wouldn't have been so furious. Jack, wake up! Yells his mother. Quick! Look out the window. Jack sees a big beanstalk. The beanstalk goes up, up, up into the sky. The old man didn't cheat me, he says happily. The old man didn't say what made these beans magical, but this. Beanstalk is ridiculously huge. It touches the sky. It's thick, green, and full of leaves. Jack jumps onto the beanstalk. Be careful, his mother warns. He climbs up until he sees a road. Then he follows the road until he sees a huge castle. Wow, this castle is magnificent! It must be magical, just like the magic beans, because it's floating up in the sky. 
Knock, knock, knock. A huge woman opens the door. Go away, she says. My husband, the giant, eats boys. I am very hungry, Jack says. Please, could you give me something to eat? All right, but hurry, says the woman. She lets him in and gives him some food. This woman is not just huge; she is a giant, and she's a kind giant because she gave Jack some food, even though it was very dangerous to do so. Suddenly. The floor begins to shake, thump, thump, thump. It's my husband," whispers the woman. "Quick, hide in the oven." Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little boy. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll grind his bones to make my bread," roars the giant. "Don't be silly. That's just the smell of the soup," the woman says. "Oh my! The giant is even bigger than the huge woman, and he doesn't look as kind. Luckily." The huge woman made him supper, so he would be distracted from Jack's smell. The giant shouts, "Bring me Mister Brown's suitcase!" Jack peeks out of the oven. Wow, that's my father's suitcase, he thinks. The giant opens it and counts all the gold coins in it. Soon he falls asleep. Wow! Jack just learned something new about his father's passing three years ago. He most likely had a confrontation with the giant. And then the giant stole his suitcase full of gold coins. Jack sneaks out of the oven. He grabs his father's suitcase and runs back home. Mother, mother, come and see! Shouts Jack. It's father's old suitcase. With the gold coins, she cries. Yes, the giant stole it from him. He says, "Now they can buy food every day." Not only was Jack able to learn more about his father's passing three years ago. He was also able to retrieve his father's old suitcase, so his family may have food to eat every day. But one day, they have no more money. Jack jumps onto the beanstalk again. He climbs up until he sees the road. Then he follows the road until he sees the huge castle again. Knock, knock, knock. The huge woman opens the door. Oh, it's you again. I can't let you in, she says. My husband, the giant, is very angry. Did you take his suitcase? She asks. Jack 
doesn't answer but says, I'm very thirsty. Please, could you give me something to drink? All right, but hurry, says the woman. She lets him in and gives him some milk. Suddenly, the floor begins to shake. Thump, thump, thump. It's my husband, whispers the woman. Quick, hide in the cupboard. Be, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little boy. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread, roars the giant. Don't be silly. That's just the smell of the pie, the woman says. The giant shouts, "Bring me Mr. Brown's golden hen!" Jack peeks out of the cupboard. Wow, that's my father's golden hen. He thinks, again and again, the giant commands the hen to lay golden eggs. And soon he falls asleep. Jack sneaks out of the cupboard. He grabs his father's golden hen and runs back home. Mother, mother, come and see. It's. Father's golden hen," she cries. "Yes, the giant stole it from him," he says. "Now they can buy food again." The next day, Jack says to his mother. Maybe the giant has more of father's things. I am going to get them back. All right, but be careful, his mother warns. Jack jumps onto the beanstalk again. He climbs up until he sees the road. Then he follows the road. Until he sees the huge castle again, knock, knock, knock. Nobody answers the door. Jack climbs up to the window. He sees the giant eating his lunch. The giant shouts, "Bring me Mr. Brown's magic harp!" Wow, that's my father's magic harp. Jack thinks again and again. The giant commands the harp to sing songs. Soon he falls asleep. Jack climbs through the window. Stop! Don't take that harp," says the woman. "This harp belonged to my father," Jack shouts. 
He is too loud. The giant wakes up. Jack is very scared. He grabs the harp and runs back home. But the giant chases him. Jack shouts, "Mother, mother, bring the axe! The giant is chasing me!" Jack's mother chops down the beanstalk. Thud! The giant can't climb down. You are such a brave boy. I am so proud of you," says his mother. Now we can listen to the harp sing every day, and we will never be hungry. Again, says Jack. <laughs> Word list: axe, bean, beanstalk, belong to, belonged to, brave, bring, buy. Castle, chasing, chop down, coin, climb, command, count, cow, cupboard, fall asleep, floor, follow, food, fool, furious, giant, gold, golden, grab. Harp, hen, hide, huge, husband, magic, market, milk, money, need, old, onto, oven, peek out, poor, proud, quick. Road, roar, run, sell, shake, silly, smell, sneak out, steal, stole, suitcase, think, warn, whisper, woman, yell. Thank you for reading Jack and the Beanstalk. Continue reading other stories.